good evening this is vani prabha from ec department today we are going to discuss on uh, the topic of uh, ieee 802.11 and its versions ieee 802.11 is a set of standard for wireless local area networking commonly known as wifi over the years several versions have been emerged or developed to improve performance security and functionality there are some versions like 802.11 802.11a 802.11b 802.11g 802.11m 802.11ac 802.11ax and so on right so let us see the major comparison between these versions comparison between 802.11a versus 802.11b while comparing in terms of data rates um, the data rate that uh, 802.11a supports is up to 54 mbps whereas b is up to 11 mbps and the ranges increased from uh, 50 meters to 100 meters in 802.11b bandwidth is also up to 5 gigahertz range 802.11a supports whereas here this supports 2.4 to 2.48 gigahertz modulation technology oftm has been used in 802.11a whereas 802.11b supports direct sequence spec spectrum technology this is the major comparison of version a and version b of ieee standard 802.11 the next we will discuss on 802.11g this is a high speed extension to 802.11b which is compatible with b also it offers higher speed up to 54 mbps the frequency is 2.4 gigahertz and it uses oftm for backward compatibility and this employs adaptive rate shifting feature the main advantages of 802.11g is it provides higher speeds and higher capacity requirements for applications wireless public access compatible with existing 802.11b standard leverages worldwide spectrum availability in 2.4 gigahertz likely to be less costlier than 5g alternatives provides easy migration for current users of 802.11b and wireless lans next version is 802.11e this introduces quality of service also known as p802.11 tg the main purpose of this version is to enhance the mac to improve and manage quality of service medium access control um, has been enhanced so as to improve the quality of service this is mm, does not support n kind of chip design requires new kind of radio chips uh, to do some basic changes in the mac layer this technique cannot be implemented in the present chip design next is uh, 802.11f this is meant for inter access point protocol also known as p802.11 tgf the main purpose of this protocol is to develop a set of requirements for inter access point protocol including operational and management aspects the main security features of 802.11b is wired equivalent privacy this is v w e p a protocol to protect link level data during wireless transmission between clients and servers 
the major services which is offered by 802.11b is authentication confidentiality and integrity authentication provides access control only to those uh, uh, nodes which is in the network by denying access to client situations that fail to authenticate properly next is it offers confidentiality it intends to prevent information being compromised from casual eavesdroppers or any intruders integrity it prevents messages from being modified while in transit between wireless client and the access point so these are the predominant features of ieee standards and its version so every version has a improved quality or performance and it offers good quality of service and integrity hope you have understood this session thanks for listening thank you